Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. From this tutorial, we are going to learn Engineering Mathematics 1. In Engineering Mathematics, first we will see Sequence and Series. Let us know what is Sequence. Sequence it is the collection of objects in a particular order and it contains elements or terms. In sequence, the repetition of elements is allowed and it is denoted by flower brackets. The main difference between set and sequences are in sequence, the order of elements is should be allowed, whereas in set, the order of elements is not allowed. In sequence, the repetition of elements are allowed, whereas in set, the repetition of elements is not allowed. General term or nth term of a sequence is denoted by an. n is the subscript. Many of students having a doubt how to find nth term of a sequence. The general term or nth term of a sequence is the pattern of the elements in a sequence. Let's take example 1. Let us take example 1, the sequence of all even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. 2 is the first element, 4 is the second element, 6 is the third element. These are all the multiples of 2. Therefore, nth term of the sequence is 2n. Let's take example 2, the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. The first term is 3, second term is 5, third term is 7, fourth term is 9 and so on. 3 equal to 2 into 1 plus 1, 5 equal to 2 into 2 plus 1, 7 equal to 2 into 3 plus 1 and so on. These elements follow a pattern. The pattern is 2n plus 1. These, this is the nth term of the, this sequence. Next one is finite sequence and infinite sequence. Finite sequence. The number of elements in the sequence is counted. For example, sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are all 5 elements in the sequence. We can count these elements. Infinite sequence. The number of elements in the sequence cannot be counted. For example, sequence of natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. We cannot count it. Okay? Next one is monotonic sequence. Here we have two types. First one is monotonically increasing. In this sequence, each term is greater than or equal to 1 before it. Okay, for example, sequence of even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. First term is 2 and second term is 4. 4 is greater than 2 and third term is 6. 6 greater than second term 4. Okay, this general form is an plus 1 greater than or equal to am. Next one is monotonically decreasing. In this sequence, each consecutive term is less than or equal to previous one. For example, sequence 20, 10, 0. In this sequence, first term is 20, second term is 10, third term is 0. Second term 10 is less than the first term and third term 0 is less than the 10 second term okay this is monotonically decreasing general form is an plus 1 less than or equal to an next one is bounded sequence if the sequence of real numbers in such that all terms are less than the some real number capital f then the sequence is said to be bounded from above an is less than capital m less than the capital M. An is less than the capital M. Here, capital M is the upper bound. If the sequence of real numbers is such that all terms are greater than the some real number small m, then the sequence is said to be bounded from the below. An, an is greater than the small m. Here, small m is the lower bound. If the sequence as both bounded from above and bounded from below, then the sequence is said to be bounded. 
for example sequence 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here the sequence is less than 7 an is the less than the 7 7 is the upper bound and an is greater than 0 0 is the lower bound this sequence has both bounded from above and bounded from below then this sequence is said to be bounded next one is limit if the sequence converges to some particular value l is known as limit of a sequence it is denoted as limit as n tends to infinity an equal to l next one is convergent if the sequence converges to some limit it is convergent limit n tends to infinity an equal to finite value okay for example sequence 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 and so on the nth term of this sequence is 1 by n applying limit to the nth term limit as n tends to infinity 1 by n equal to 1 by infinity equal 0 it is converges to 0 the sequence converges to 0 therefore the sequence is convergent next one is divergent if limit n tends to infinity a n equal to infinity plus or minus infinity then that sequence is divergent for example nth term of sequence is n applying limit to that nth term limit as n tends to infinity n equal to infinity this sequence is divergent next one is oscillatory if the limit of a sequence is not unique oscillates finitely or oscillates infinitely for example nth term of a sequence minus 1 whole power n applying limit to the nth term of a sequence limit n tends to infinity minus 1 whole power n equal to 1 if n is even minus 1 if n is odd therefore the sequence is oscillatory okay that's it for this tutorial if you want more information please subscribe our channel